Tonight, the culmination of a months long hazing scandal has Northwestern University parting ways with its winningest coach ever. We're not three. One, two, three. One. After 17 seasons, head coach and former Northwestern linebacker Pat Fitzgerald was fired Monday. The university's president writing the head coach is ultimately responsible for the culture of his team. The firing follows a six-month independent investigation into allegations of hazing, which found evidence it happened, but no evidence, the school says, coaches knew. Still, the university initially suspended Fitzgerald for two weeks, but over the weekend reconsidered. Northwestern student newspaper published allegations from former players who claimed they endured coerced sexual acts, one dubbed the car wash, forcing them to spin naked in the showers as teammates entered and basically rub up against a bare naked man. Former offensive lineman and son of Mexican immigrants Ramon Diaz Jr., who played under Fitzgerald until 2009, also remembers racist hazing. They just said, we need to shave your head. It's Cinco de Mayo, was shaved my head. Diaz, along with other players quoted by the student newspaper, believes coaches knew about hazing. I just felt like this is, this is what you have to do to play football. Fitzgerald maintaining he had no knowledge whatsoever of any form of hazing, seen here denouncing hazing in 2014. There's a zero tolerance for hazing. There's no reason why they ever have it. Tonight, shockwaves on campus shared by the student reporters who brought players' allegations to light. Our hope is always just spreading the truth. It's no longer something that can be, you know, swept under a rug and kept secret. Northwestern has yet to name a new coach, and the team's season starts in less than two months. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.